This is this is the thing. So we're gonna okay. Because I can't ever do shit in order, I feel like. Welcome to another video. We got a special video out today. We are doing the author to Secret Santa video. Um, so you're gonna see some few changes because my Secret Santa gave me an e gift because I was willing to have a physical or an e gift. Um, so we'll change over to the e here in a little bit. This event was organized by ST Houston. I'll have a picture of her thing here and she'll be linked down below. Also, Hannah took a break. I am probably butchering her name. I'm completely sorry again for really missing everything and putting down below. We organized the program this year and <clears throat> yeah, I was able to participate and I'm really excited. I, I always want to and or try to participate in community events, um, but can't always, especially something like this that has to do with monetary value. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go with that. <clears throat> I have to say, I was I am so glad that my Secret Santa, which I'll tell you guys in a minute, put in the uh, subject line of the email for the e-gift, uh, Secret Santa, because I follow so many authors uh, when I did um, Desloray's uh, anthology that they were in. Part of getting the anthology for free was subscribing to a bunch of authors' uh, newsletters, and I haven't filtered or decided who I'm going to keep or unsubscribe to or whatever, so I get a lot of newsletter <laughs> emails. And I didn't recognize her name at first. So I literally almost ignored the email until I saw it said Secret Santa. And I was like, what? And then when I opened it and started reading it, I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Makes, it makes sense now. Okay, cool. Thank you for doing that. Or else I would have probably totally messed that up. <laughs> okay, so okay, we're gonna go with the lights. I know that I know that this light probably needs to move, but everything's set up for the phone camera, so we're just going to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna read the email because I know it's kind of hard to see, anyways. But my secret Santa uh, is Deidre, um, or DJ and Anna Anderson. So it says, "Hi, Dolores." I hope you had an amazing holiday season and are gearing up to attack 2024 with all you've got. AuthorTube can be a scary place, especially when you are still trying to find your footing. But you have always gone out of your way to ensure that I was seen and welcome whenever we found ourselves in the same chats, which truly means a lot. So when I drew your name for in The Secret Santa, I did my best to come up with a gift that you'd like and and may have even turned to a few of your closer author to friends i'm curious which ones because i i know some that we <laughs> we have in common but um um for advice ha 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 in the end what i came up with what i came up with was a gift that could both provide inspiration for your whip the princess and the warrior which we're going to talk about in a second uh and be used in your day-to-day -day author journey Thank you for being your sweet, humble, and welcoming self in everything you do. Happy holidays. Um, so I haven't opened anything. I haven't looked at it. So let me. I'm going to open it. I probably need to change. Oh, no, it moved on its own. Okay, awesome. Um, let's see. Okay. So it's the 2024 ultimate writers. Oh, journal. It's a journal. Okay. Okay. Um, it said that in the email, uh, it should be fully digital, digital. So you should be able to type directly in it, but you can also print out sections. Um, this is beautiful, by the way, <laughs> with the elves. <laughs> we'll get to why this is important, but, um, uh okay okay january 
today's schedule. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This is so pretty. Oh, oh. Wow, this is nice. And I can open it up as a Google Doc so that I can write in it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get out of, does it change up a theme or anything in February? February. Oh. Oh, okay. It does. <laughs> Process, not perfection. Oh, okay. So it changes up characters. So who is March? I'm curious now. <laughs> Let's see. This is really pretty. I love this. Oh my gosh, DJ. Oh my gosh. Oh, then we got to get to the end. <laughs> oh, wait, we do have a 29, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. You are doing great. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that's enough going through that. Okay. Oh, and she put it as an attachment also. That's so nice. Okay, so we're just going to come back to here for now. <laughs> What's so interesting that she picked the princess and the warrior is I actually have, it was the first book I finished, um, like ever, fully drafted. Um, and also, it was the book I finished on um, Author Tube here. And um, so I guess this is this would be a good time because I just realized I didn't actually introduce myself. So this would be a good time to introduce myself, right? Right? Should I change to my phone? Hmm. Actually, no, because I have an idea. Okay. So uh, we're not going to change. <laughs> To the phone because this is this is the thing. So we're gonna okay, because I can't ever do shit in order. I feel like um, I always forget to introduce myself, even though some people say not to. But whatever, we're not gonna go into that. But so obviously, my name is Doris Verdell. I am a romance writer that writes uh, sci-fi, fantasy, science fantasy that's spicy or steamy and um i also play games and stream on my second channel so you can find all that there um but i i also just for caveat for advertisement sake i also have a pen name called serapia medill and I write erotic uh, romances there. I currently have a Vela that's an erotic, um, erotic paranormal near future romance. But um, back to this. So before, as I was trying to figure out exactly what I was writing or what genres I was going to be writing in, I decided to write the specific story and um, of the princess and the warrior that I was dubbing Project Elf uh, for the longest time before I decided to give it a title. Uh, and before I realized it wasn't going to be a romance, it's actually a love story. And I constantly told people, if you know the difference, you know what's happening. So I dubbed it a dark, uh fantasy love story so i have my little campfire here wait let me bring my thing up there we go uh so project elf the princess and the warrior dark science fantasy love story um 
so my synopsis <laughs> was a young woman finds out she's not fully human and everything she ever had wrong with her was because she is half elf. And the people she had always trusted with everything was hiding her from the elven that have been wanting to kill her so she could not claim her birthright because she is not just half elf and half human, but also the crown princess of Pratalaza. I don't remember how I chose to pronounce that, <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> that was, that's the, um, the synopsis of Princess and Warrior. Um, and I wrote that, finished it, and haven't touched it since. It's probably been like maybe two years or so. Ironically, I've been thinking about it, and I don't remember if I've mentioned it on stream at all or just amongst my friends um, privately, <clears throat> which might be where the like, oh, I talked to other author two friends might be coming from. <laughs> but um because I have the pen name, uh, I've been thinking about it. Because the Dolores Medill name I want to have as a traditionally published name, which meant that part of the reason I put down the Princess and the Warrior is I realized I had a lot more sci-fi ideas than fantasy. So I didn't want to to query a dark fantasy book and then be stuck writing fantasy or dark fantasy um when most of my ideas are sci-fi so uh i decided to put it down and then work on some sci-fi things which is what i'm currently in the process of doing now but my pen name is literally just erotic romance it's also my pen name where i kind of don't give a shit and i'm like I can just put whatever the hell I want because I'm the boss of me, myself, and I in that pen name. Uh, <clears throat> so I've been thinking about going back to Prince Thor because it's literally written. I just have to edit it. Uh, and I could edit slash redraft the story into an erotic love story because I'm definitely not changing the ending. It's still going to be a love story. An erotic love story. Um, and I could just throw that out there. <laughs> so it's very interesting, um, that she chose to use that as a theme. I don't, I also don't blame her because the other story I was working on, which is Project Sci Fi Romance, I put down in favor of a different story, which I'm going to be writing this year, um, <clears throat> that I haven't really talked about too much, which I will start talking about soon. Um, and my current whip, which is also for the erotic pen name, I um, just recently started talking about, and then I went cold. Um, I went silent. I suddenly stopped streaming and everything. There was some life stuff, but also I've just been so obsessively writing that I haven't really had time for anything. Um, <clears throat> so it is very interesting. Uh, I also, again, don't blame her for picking that one to theme it around. So dare I say, I am extremely happy and excited. Uh, also it just says the date, like March 2nd, it doesn't say the year. So when I do go to back to it i could actually just use this journal for whenever it doesn't have to be for 2024 and i love that also uh it's personalized to me but also personalized to whenever the hell i want to use it is what it seems like um it looks like so far so i i love it um uh thank you Deidre, so much it i yes i love it the art is beautiful and if I remember, you do covers, so who knows? Maybe if I'm, when I'm ready to publish the book, I'll come to you <laughs> and make my cover. Um, but yeah, th this was a nice experience. It was great. I loved it. Thank you so much, DJ, and also um, uh, Esther Houston and 
and Hannah for organizing the event so that this could happen. If you do want to know more about the Princess and the Warrior, I have blogs and videos on that. <clears throat> also on my Instagram, I do have some art posted, um, like themes uh, posted on there. You'll just have to scroll down a little ways to see it. Um, there's not that much, but there's some there. And yeah, that's it, really. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I will have links to everyone else's videos. Go check out everyone else's videos so that the algorithm likes all of our videos for the Secret Santa, Secret Holiday thing. Go check out everybody. They'll be, I believe, um, so, uh, SD Houston and Hannah is going to have a playlist. So check that out down below. If not, I will just link everyone's channel. Go check out all their videos. Everyone's video should be out today. So yeah, go give everybody some holiday love. Just love in general. Go watch all the videos. See everybody's excited to open presents. Who doesn't like open presents? And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're wanting, not necessarily more of this content, but uh, want to know more about my writing and my journey, hit the subscribes and the bells and all that jazz. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. So sorry, thank you so much.